Hi guys, it's Salas Topsi here, your PHP lecture again. Uh, if you have any query regarding our previous lecture or any question, please you can contact me. My details are on the screen. A cell phone number, if you can contact me, either you can use contact me on my cell phone number. Uh, I can actually be able to assist on your query or you can uh, contact me on my email, on my private email there. If you send your query or any question there, I might be able to uh, respond to you as early as I can. Uh, in this uh, lecture, I just want to go through the topic uh, of how to write comments in PHP. We have two ways that we write comments in PHP. Either, uh, we, either what we call the single line comments or multi line comments. Uh, I want to use the I want to use the last project that we wrote, uh, which we were which we which we were declaring the variables and display the variables. If you were not here or listening to our previous what previous uh, a video, I recommend you can revisit our lecture three video and uh, 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 understand how we actually uh, declare the variables there and come up with that project so i'm gonna quickly open our previous uh, project so in this project in this project what you want to talk about is in this header what i wrote on this header here how to make single line and multi line comments in php in every programming language each and every programming language it has got its own syntax of writing comments. Comments are not part of the coding. Comments is are really there to help you as a programmer or other colleagues, other software developers that you might be working with when you are developing a project, uh, for them to understand what you'll be doing in each and every what in each and every line of your code. So comments are very important. Imagine when you write when you are actually called to fix the the, the 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 code or the project that you wrote two decades ago how are you going to remember a code that you have got in maybe more than 50 files to remember what you were doing in 20 years ago or 10 years ago or 15 years ago if there is no comments it's a task that could take you the whole month to try to revise the whole code but if you were including the comments in your code it would be actually easier to browse through your code and understand every every everything that you were doing at that particular time at each and every a uh, part of your code so comments are very important if very important to you to refer to a project in future very important to your developers to other co core developers that you are working with or anyone who might actually want to view your code in future it makes life easier for him or her to understand your code if you include the comments so i want to actually sh quickly show you how to write single line comments in php single line comments php you can actually use a double forward slash for example i'm going to actually say this is right here this I don't want to write caps lock. You can use double forward slash. Say this is a this is a string. This is a comment. I'm just want to show that here I declared a string. I might actually saying also here and say you you either use this double what double forward slash or use a hash a hashtag to display the comments. So I can use a hash also. A hash can also be used to display comments. If I put a hash here, then I'll write anything in front of this hash. Whatever that I wrote after a hash, it becomes a comment. It's not going to be recognized as part of my code. So I can say this is, this is a string. This is a string. Then I'll come here i can also let me just use for double forward slash and say this is an this is an integer this is an integer then i also want to let me also use a comment on this one let me also use a hash 
then I'll say this is a double this is a double this is a double variable a variable this is a double variable this is an integer you can say integer variable again all these are variables isn't it variable this is an integer variable and this is a string variable variable so these are two ways of this the of of, of um, writing a single line comment either you can use double forward slash or you can use a hash a hashtag a, you choose whatever that you are comfortable with so the other way of writing a, a the comments remember all these comments that are inside what inside the php so the other way of writing comments if you are writing the comment that have got a description that gonna take it two to three lines you have to use what you call the mod line mod line a uh, comment syntax the mod line comment syntax is simply a forward slash and a star you write a forward slash and a star forward slash and a star then everything that you write after a forward slash and a star becomes comments you see even the color change the color so you have to close this so if i'm writing a, a, a this is the opening for my for my this is the opening for my a mod line comment and i have to close it so that it won't affect my code here so to close it you close it with a star and you close it with a star and a forward slash so whatever that you wrote you write between these it becomes a it becomes a comment for example i want to write here and say below is let me just say right here below is how we, below is how we how the information below is how let me just say how the below is how the information is how the information is display it below is how the information is displayed in php in php in php let me just say the echo the echo is case is not case sensitive the echo is not case sensitive as you can see i i wrote all this statement i write all this statement in what in three lines and all these three lines i don't have i don't need to put like this syntax of single line comments i simply put the opening here and closing here and everything that i'm going to write in between is going to be identified as comment so this is how you write mouth line comments if you want to comment your code in with the description that gonna take you at least two uh, at least two lines then you have to use this index of mod line comments and also the single line comments you use either hash or double forward slash so uh, let me just save it and run it guys then you see it doesn't affect my code to run it i just simply save here then i'll run i already my zemb is already started so i don't need to start it so i simply come to the browser here quickly come to the browser then i'll type localhost local host local host forward slash then I'll, I'll call my project name which is prog prog4 then enter prog4 you see my project is displayed here I simply click my project you see it doesn't affect everything that see, uh, i want to display which is part of my code it doesn't affect my comments are not displayed are not are not seen here as you see in only what is displayed is this information that i wrote here which is my code this part of the comments are not displayed when the browser running is running my my project my project
so i hope guys you understand how to write the comments now you i i, I hope you are going to write uh, the the very a powerful project in future that will be having comments that will give advantages to your colleagues and other follow fellow developers that might actually want to view your code thank you guys hope to see you in our next lecture